Next, we will cover live impedance. Live impedance allows you to look at the load and phase of the transducer that is hooked up to the amplifier with any music connected to it. Uh, typically, you would get here at the bottom tab through what's called monitor impedance, live impedance. Um, if you're pretty much at any page, it is at the bottom tab. If I unmute the music, We then can see the phase, that's in pink on channel one, and the impedance, which is the yellow on channel one, you'll see channel two below. This upper bar indicates coherence. So the higher that is above that frequency relates to how well we are seeing that frequency in impedance and phase. And you can see the bars actually grow a little bit brighter. On the right side of the screen, we can eliminate this, the phase from the screen. We can change the magnitude of how we're looking at the curves. Uh, we can see a minimum impedance somewhere, and we can mark that, or and a reference impedance, and again, which is the average of what it's taken so far. Obviously, with a lot of music going over, you would get a very good reading full band over time. These are two identical speakers. We're just showing the impedance. We can also bring in a custom curve based on a text file, again, that's just showing frequency and plus or minus X amount of dB. So here would be an example of a 10 inch vented box laid over uh, screen number one and it actually is semi similar although that is not the box but it can give you a reference of what it should look like for touring for an installation but again you can listen and look while you're in the middle of a show